Hey, welcome to the home of idiocracy. Uh, today I'm doing a video on a 2001 Suburban 2500 four-wheel drive 8.1 liter engine. Now the reason I'm doing this is because all the videos that I've looked at on this particular topic did not cover the California 8.1. The Odyssey started in Oklahoma when this check engine light came on and the code gave a reading of the camshaft position sensor. Now the camshaft position sensor is right down here right underneath the uh, the tensioner. So once you return remove this it's pretty easy to get to. I replaced that but I was still getting a backfire and hard start and that seemed to indicate, based on what I saw on the on YouTube, that it was a crankshaft position sensor that needed to be replaced. Now the crankshaft position sensor is at the rear of the engine. Now the videos show that you could let me get up on this step for a second. The video showed that you could remove this ignition coil and you could reach down behind here to get to it well I wasn't able to do that I wasn't able to reach it and so I removed the uh, manifold now here's the thing about the manifold this is the clean the breathe clean air breather tube now apparently on the California engines at the rear of the manifold is mounted uh, like a fluted air chamber right here you see it's mounted right here where on other 8.1 liter engines I saw on the other on YouTube they have a plate over this cover now what I didn't understand when I was trying to take the manifold off I thought that if I took the EGR valve which mounts right here, I could pull it out. So you can see right here, right here, that's where that breather tube connects. And there's no way to get get to this. Actually, I, it, it's, I'm sorry, I should say it's easier to take this little you know, chamber off here, then loosen this then you can pull the manifold straight out and again you can see I have su uh, suspended on an engine hoist I'm getting ready to put it back in now along the way though I just happened to bump the uh, heater the heater hoses and both of them were crystallized and they both broke so I have to replace the heater hose T's which I have found, and the uh, connectors that go with that. Uh, those things are really hard to get off. It's hard to get up in there, get your fingers on it, get enough pressure on the lever, on the little plastic clip to get it off. But I did get it off, so I'm going to put those back in. There is a, you know, if you have the California engine, when you put it back in, this is the, the breather. Uh, I want to say breather hose, but it's actually an articulated metal uh, pipe. And this is the, uh, the gasket that goes in place. This comes with the gasket set. So when you get the, the Felpro manifold gasket set, this comes. What doesn't come is a gasket on the, uh, the EGR valve. So this gasket right here. It's going to be original. Looks like it's in shape. I don't see any breaks in it. So uh, you know, I may put some gasket maker around it and then uh, install the EGR valve on top of that. So I just wanted you to be aware of what it took. Oh, one other thing. While I'm talking, well, I've got it here. Uh, the A lot of the videos show that crankshaft position sensor as being... Uh, installed going straight down 
Well, that's not the case on this engine. The bracket is, is down there, but it kind of goes at an angle. And really, you've got to do it all by feel. And once you get it in the hole, make sure you push hard enough so the little uh, uh, O-ring seats. And then once you do that, then using feel, two fingers, you know, to get the, uh, the bolt started. And what really does help, it's a little stubby uh, ratchet wrench, 10 millimeter. So if you have one of those, it's, it's real easy. I mean, I don't say real easy. It's easier to get back down in there and get get the uh, bolt started and tighten it up. So I just wanted to be able to see what this is. I haven't seen this on any other YouTube video. So you can actually see what the back hit looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if I can... If I can get this so you can see where the, uh, no, it's not going to go in there. I don't have enough light there, but that, that's where the crank shaft position sensor is. So it goes straight down right here. And, I mean, it's down more than the length of my hand. Uh, the connector is right, the second one over here. That's what uh, uh, the uh, wire connector, and it has a snap on it. Okay, so hope you enjoy it. This is the 8.1 liter Vortec engine, uh, 2001. I did have to take the alternator off to get the uh, the manifold off because there's not enough clearance, you know, up to the firewall there. So I'm gonna get started on this and get it reinstalled again. I hope you learned something from this. I sure did. I'm not a mechanic, and I couldn't find any schematics showing exactly what was going on back there uh, for a California engine. So that's that's why if you're struggling, that's what you're struggling on. It's that, that baffled chamber right here that's going to keep you from pulling the manifold out. Okay, until next time, thank you very much.